Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. Today's video, you probably see from the title, is what can we achieve? What can West Ham achieve? Obviously we've got an international break now. You know, and it's a nice time to reflect on what we've done so far. You know, they say, you know, look at the season after 10 to 12 games. You know, we're sitting there, joint second, you know, pushing into Christmas. Um, positive goal difference, a great settled team, quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Um, next round of Europa League, whether it's last 32 or last 16, we'll know in the next you know month or so. What can we? What can these boys achieve? You know, already, already so far this season it's been excellent, and I think it's you know it's a good it's a good idea to have a look. Obviously, talk sport we're talking about it. Every media outlet's talking about it, Sky Sports, BBC. You know, let's start with let's start with the the dream scenario, right? So, question that was sort of being touted yesterday was can West Ham win the Premier League now there was a West Ham fan that rang up and said it's, you should do it in two questions can they win the Premier League yes will they win the Premier League no <laughs> you know can we challenge yes we, we, we're second already you know if, if you carry on the form that we've had over this calendar year you know you would You'd be in a really good target and be definitely really close to going there but you know so much has to you know come into your 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 luck as well you know you, you need some luck on the way if it for you to win a title we, we've, we've got the quality will fitness become an issue towards the end of the season you know playing those games you know Thursday Sunday Thursday Sunday at the moment doesn't seem to have taken a toll but as the season goes on and you know the 11 doesn't change too much will you know how much does that play into the role um i'd say we're not going to win the league we're not we're not we're not we're not that it's uh you know it's a dream that you know, listen if it ever happened cry my eyes out probably won't watch west ham again because we'll never get a moment like that again in my lifetime but there was a great sound that my mate said to me yesterday a work colleague sam the one who's been on the channel a couple of times a newcastle fan said Mate, you've got to fake it till you make it. You've got to believe. You know, you've got to believe that you can win it. You know, that should be the target. Where we're at the moment, you know, it's a, there's a thing in most jobs and everything in the world in general, you know, you start off with a target. So David Moyes' target, by all accounts, was we're going to try and get those extra three, four points that potentially could make us even more of a challenge into the top four. Okay. At the moment, we're well on that target, you know, averaging two points a game. So now, at the moment, your target, his target should be reassessed, you know, and it can change again. It's, it's a constantly moving target. At the moment, his target should be, OK, well, we're sitting in second, three points behind Chelsea. We're challenging for the title. And until we can't challenge for the title anymore, that's when you change it. And I think that the thing that I said was, you know, if we aim, you know, to challenge for the title and we fail then there's a good chance that failure would be still a huge success because we'd still we'd be in the top four. That's not just a huge success, that's incredible. So, yeah, I, I agree with that mantra, you know, fake it until you make it. So, you know, keep belie keep believing until we're, you know, until we're re in a position where we, we can't win it, then you've got to believe you can. You know, what, what is the point? What do you start a 20 game, you know, 20 team, 38 game season for? You, you know, every team believes but in August, that you're going to win it. That should be everyone's belief, you know, that you're going to, you could go and win it, you can do a Leicester. It can happen. And yeah, like I say, and, it, and if that was the case, that we, we didn't win it and, and it and fouled, as it were, fouled, you know, finishing top four. And then that leads in nicely to can West Ham finish in the top four? 100%. 100%. Again, need a bit of luck. Need a bit of luck, need a couple more of them results like the, uh, the Liverpool game, you know, the Chelsea game in a few weeks' time is a big one I'm looking at, at. The Arsenal game as well coming up. You know, you beat Arsenal in a few weeks' time. Well, it's not even a few, it's a couple, about a month's time, isn't it? It's about the 15th of December, I think it is. You know, you beat Arsenal and potentially you could, you know, we're currently a six-point gap. Potentially, results go the way you could still have that six-point gap going into Christmas. You beat Chelsea, you're right up them. Do you know what I mean? You're really pushing it and validating that place in the top six, uh, top four. So, can we finish top four? 100%. Will Moyes need some backing in January? I, yes. You know, there's 
there's still a few points and you can always improve any team can improve Chelsea can improve uh, Man United definitely can improve you know Man City has still got you know was probably still love a striker in there but if yeah if we're still sitting around there Christmas you know after Christmas going into the new year into the transfer window they've got to back him they've got to back him a million percent likely again I keep saying names Lingard a striker maybe a left back as cover as well yeah, maybe a left back has covered and uh, who knows, honestly, who knows. Um, and then, again, in terms of cup competitions, uh, Europa League. Can we achieve the Europa League? Maybe. And I think that result against Genk the other night, I said it in my review and, you know, London Pundit said it as well. I think that puts us in better stead. I think, you know, drawing that game and having a real competitive game like that, you know, just gives us that little kick, that little... Like, this ain't going to be easy. Not every game is going to be easy. And, you know, you do have to be on your... You know, you have to be on it all the time. And, you know, Moyes will have to balance that. And then that's, that becomes a question, doesn't it? You know, if we're, you know, fighting right at the end, you know, and I'm talking getting into quarterfinals of Carabao Cup, uh, Europa League, and we're fighting in the top four for example but we can't can't win the league anymore right we can only get top four let's let's, let's put a scenario in now you know you've got to be getting all that for the cup surely surely uh, i don't know what you guys think you know top four would be amazing you know bragging rights over Tottenham, probably arsenal as well man united probably if we did do it which would be amazing would you know be our best premier league finish as well if we were to get fourth um but yeah, to win a trophy, to get to that final, you know, and have that moment, you know, and have Rice and Noble lifting the trophy, you can't put a price on that. Uh, you know, people were asking as well on Talksport last night, you know, Carabao Cup. Let's say, right, okay, quarter final. These are all hypothetical questions, right? This relies on us beating teams. We beat Tottenham, get semi finals, maybe push all the way into a final. What then? Top four or a Carabao Cup? You know, trophy's amazing. But let's pretend we can't win Europa League, right? So you've got Carabao Cup on top four. What keeps Stepman Rice there? Memories for the fans, amazing. You get a trophy with a Carabao Cup. Brilliant, amazing day out. We can say we've won something, it'll shut Spurs up. But top four, Champions League, I know you don't get a trophy for fourth. That keeps Stepman Rice there. Does a trophy, does, does Carabao Cup keep him there? There's a question for you guys to answer. Um, and then, you know, what happens in FA Cup? You know, do, do we go anywhere in that? Who knows? Obviously, we don't even know what the first round of that is yet. But yeah, we shouldn't fear anyone. We can definitely achieve something. We could definitely win a trophy this year if we keep this momentum up. Momentum is a huge thing, you know. If we keep up, keep going, we, we, should, we shouldn't fear anyone at the moment as well. We, we can do anyone on their day. Our set pieces, they may as well be penalties. They're that good. You know, teams have now got to think of ideas on how to stop our set pieces. You know, that, that's a great thing to have. That's like when Pyatt was there with the free kicks. You know, teams were trying to stop ways of giving away free kicks. Like, teams will not want to give corners away against us now, which, is, you know, it's hard. You know, most teams get at least three or four corners a game. So West Ham have three or four good chances a game, you know, that are going to get a chance to score a goal. Um, so what do I think we're going to achieve? Like I say, if the team stays fit, and we don't tire too much towards the end, and you know, we, we got the, like last season, we got Lingard went off the ball just a little bit at the end, Antonio got injured, Rice got injured all at key times. And this is what I mean by luck, in, injury luck. When Leicester won the league that year, they got a lot of luck with injuries. Obviously, they, they fought it, they deserved it, the table don't lie at the end, but everything has to fall into place for something magic to happen. And if we can get that, if Moyes can, you know, keep that instilled and we get some players in so that if injuries do happen, we've got cover there, then by all means, listen, top four is there. Another thing in terms of luck as well, and um, is Ollie staying in a job? If Ollie stays at Manchester United, that top four window's open, mate. It is, it's massively open. We've got to hope Conte doesn't get much going this season for Tottenham, you know, and hope that it's more next season or hopefully never. But you know, I mean, it's just little bits like that need to fall into place. Arsenal are slowly creeping back into a good team. 
so they're definitely one we need to watch that are behind us but yeah we, we I wouldn't want to be if I was opposition manager West Ham are not a team I'd want to be playing so, and that is a great thing to have in our locker you know anyone who's looking at West Ham at the minute is going don't fancy that don't fancy that and that's a really good thing to be we're a horrible team to play we're good counter-attacking we're stubborn defensively you know real hard working uh, who described it um I think it was Jason Cundy said they're a man's team. They're a proper man's team. And that's what we've been lacking for a long time. Leaders everywhere. Yeah, just brilliant. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, nice little opinion video walking along. Obviously, international break, so there's not much real West Ham news. Um, yeah, until next time, guys. Come in your eyes. Keep believing. Uh, thank you so, so much for all the comments, as always. Um, yeah, let's go.